yeah. this game and he <laughs> has the fortune of having his father here as well in a supportive role so we can then also find out about how that is done successfully stay tuned for more so time for a quick recipe that won't take a fortnight. It's quite quick. Now, this Veganuary, we are spinning the wheel of deliciousness to give you all the inspiration you need to create tasty plant-based dishes. Uh, amply fry your veggie menu with Fry's 101 recipe spinning wheel and take the mental labor out of deciding what to cook each day. Summer on a plate, crisp, crunch, sweet, sour, chili, you're welcome. This delicious Fry's chicken-style burger, tropical heat tacos, uh, with jalapeno and lime vinaigrette promises to satisfy all your taco fantasies with the easy preparation and air fryer option you can simplify meal prep but i can tell you we have the perfect chef for it zozo i'm excited for this because i mean fries is amazing it's made with love and plants since 1991 and i'm gonna start off with frying up our burger patties and wasty right. you can start off with our pineapple yes indeed all right so what we're gonna do you're gonna give this some char because, of course, tacos, you want to actually add some of that flavor, that may kind of flavor. So we're going to do that. And while we do that, because I'm going to make a salsa, so I'm going to need some color. That's all. Definitely. And the Beautiful. cool thing is with our fries burger patties, our chicken-style burger patties, we are um, we're going straight from the fr freezer into yep. the pan. And that's it. And it's done. Freezer to pan. Simple. And it should be about four minutes. I mean, it is going at a bit of a low heat. We don't want the crumb to burn. And while you're doing that, should I fry up your pineapple for you? Yes, please. It's sorted out over here. In fact, uh, a little bit more about, you know, fries, chicken uh, style burgers. Now, they are meat free, of course, which is wonderful. Um, they're for all sort of vegan meals. And don't have to, you know, they don't have to be veggies all the time or legumes only. They can also uh, be amply fried with fries as chicken style burgers that are crunchy and flavorful and satisfy and they're, of course they're of course juicy as well which just has to be you have to no no point having something dry it's got to have some flavor they're incredibly versatile as a burger a filling for tacos uh, used as a base for a chicken palm you name it our chicken burgers can do it for you so it's made with a blend of 100 percent non-gmo plant proteins and herbs and spices to give you the perfect flavor that you need for this recipe. Now, you mentioned vinaigrette, so let me jump into that. You love jalapeno. Yes, I do. Anything chili so is my vibe. So we're going to add some jalapenos to our vinaigrette. We are going to add some lime zest as well as lime juice. I'm going to add a little dash of olive oil. I'm speaking ahead of the, mo the motions. But this is, the, this is great. I like it when you speak ahead of the motion, then I know what's coming next. What's coming next? A little <laughs> dash of olive oil, and then we're going to season with some salt and pepper. Also add a bit of garlic and some red wine vinegar, and that is going to be our vinaigrette. Done and dusted. And then you're just going to whisk that together. In the interim, because of the magic of television, I've grilled, pre-grilled some pineapple a little oh, earlier, and I'm going to chop them up. Busy here. And so the salsa that I'm going to make, I'm going to use mango diced beautifully. Uh, with the mango, you can actually use papaya if you want to add something a bit more sort of, I suppose, authentic to the island vibe. But I think that mango is perfect for this application. And it's also something that you can get when it's in season in South Africa, which is lovely. And then I'm going to give this a lovely dice. And then once this is diced up, pop it in there. A bit of salt and pepper, touch it, olive oil. And then we are good to go for preparation. And don't let this recipe overwhelm you. It feels like a lot of steps, but it all is going to come together so nicely. And it's, this is something, one of those recipes where the kids and the family can get involved in helping you with this recipe. I've got our mayo that I'm quickly going to zhuzh up. Ooh. I'm going to add some lemon juice as some lemon zest. And we're going to also season it with just a little bit of salt and pepper. Beautiful. Already everything's coming together. I'm loving the colors that are coming in here too. The salsa is looking very, very good. The smell's coming from the lime. It's fresh. It's really, really fantastic. So I'm ready. Oh, look at this. So now we just have to put our taco together. Okay. How do you put a taco together? Do you start with the sauce, lining it with a little bit of sauce first? You know, I th that's, that's always a, a something that's so subjective. I mean, I love a bit of a bed. So I would do sauce, a little layer of sauce first because... Uh, sometimes, you know, you, you take a bite in, the sauce kind of falls all over the place. I think this is a good platform. So that's the, the vibe over there. Um, I would say, but a sauce first, which is perfect. Definitely. And a then bit more heat. we'll go for our fries, chicken style burger. And I think we'll be good to go. Okay. Lovely. I think our pi pineapple is looking really good. 
And here is your salsa. Fantastic. And now it's the assembly time, which is the fun time, which is always great. So we will assemble this. I think this is going to be fantastic. It really Are you is. waiting for me to assemble it? Yes. I thought you were going to do it. No, no, because so I mean, you, you've got the chef. You've been frying up and stuff. So, I mean, fry, fries, it just made sense. That it just you, made sense. Yeah, and fry the dish. Um, can I ask you to chop that in half for me? No problem. We're going to add, of course, our chicken fry burger. In half. Patty. There we go. And then... Let's add that to our meal. That's, that's great. Some of the salsa flavor gets on there first. Of course. Which is always we good. love that. It's fantastic. <laughs> And then, can you add some salsa for me to the top of our burger patties? A little salsa and on then top, and then we can are... also finish it off with a little bit of our vinaigrette. And there we go. I've, I've ran out of clean spoons, but we'll use this. Done, Stubby. If you want to get any of these uh, ingredients, go to expressoshow.com. They're all there for you. And of course, if you want some more nutritious plant based recipes, head on over to the Fryers Family website as well. Simple recipe, give it a shot, try it, take a picture, and send oh. it to us on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Well done. Good. That looks excellent.